what was it like growing up in Southern California, where we are, we're in San Diego right now, um, and never eating meat your entire life? Like, what the heck is that like? Uh, well, lots of people for sure are confused how I've never had a California burrito, definitely <laughs> with no meat. Um, but as a kid, it was, it was really weird. Um, because there was no other kids that didn't eat meat growing up and back then it was like those little chocolate milk pouches and all the cafeteria food they didn't have any options for us so we always had to pack our lunches and you know uh, we always had um, substitute cheeses for things substitute bolognese and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were big but um, it was just different and um, a lot of people, you know, didn't understand that. Now I think a lot more it's understanding that there's a lot more kids out there that are being raised plant-based and vegan and vegetarian. But back then I was the only one. Uh, I don't know many others that are actually vegan that have never eaten meat. Um, but it's good to see that there's other people out there that are raising their kids that way. It was, it was so different because there wasn't a lot of other kids that were vegetarian. Um, so we got made fun of a lot, me and my two brothers, because we were both, or all three of us were raised vegan um, by our dad's you know, choosing. And then we managed to stay or continue to be vegetarian, at least me and my middle brother, um, who also have never eaten meat. And um, we've continued that way and I've chosen to you know, raise my kids that way as well. And it's just, you know, it, it was, there was a lot to overcome, but you know, like I didn't, you know, let it bother me because it was just a constant thing, you know? And so I was just like, the, the less I let it bother me, you know, the um, less people did it. And to be honest, some people swear that I've eaten meat and I'm like, nah, dude, like that was a bean burrito. They're like, no, dude, it was a California burrito. I'm like, no, it was a bean burrito. You sure? Yeah, because they I don't look like your typical like vegan or vegetarian like people think of, you know, back in the day at least, you know, they thought of them as like skinny and mal uh, not getting enough protein or nutrients and things like that. So like I wasn't really a skinny kid ever. I was decent size, you know, like not overweight as a kid, but active and physical and things like that. And um yeah, it didn't, it didn't make that big of a difference, but it just definitely made me a lot thicker skin for sure, getting into the older ages and then continuing, you know, deciding to go back to being vegan and plant-based again now. We'll get into that. We'll get yeah. into that. That's cool. Yeah. So real quick, I wanted to say something. I remember when you were young and you being vegetarian and I made fun of you all the time. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I was always making fun of you and yeah. I was, I was even like, like, why don't you just eat it? Like, I don't understand, but not in a way of like kind of like really antagonizing you, like just not getting it. It was just like, not understanding. Like I just don't yeah. understand. I'd just be like, I know you don't, I know you don't eat it, but like, can't, why not? You know, yeah, why not why just not? eat it? You know what I mean? Like, and then it was just like a total, like a disconnect for me. Yeah. You know? And I remember even when I made the decision, I remember when I just, I called you up one day, you know what I mean? And yeah. I, when I made my decision, I was like, Hey, I think I'm pretty, I'm going to go vegan. You were one of the first people that I decided to tell. Yeah. I remember you thought I was joking yeah. and you were like, I don't believe you. Like, that's not, you're not going to do that. And I was just like, <laughs> not like, I'm really good. I'm really doing it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's no, really I, happening and it's, because it's so weird because it's like such a, such a, you've doing it your whole life and me making fun yeah. of it. Yeah. Right. And then, and then me being on the other side. Yeah. And it's funny too. Cause like, like I said, we live together. And we lived off of, you know, you, you lived off of El Pollo Loco because it was in the same parking lot as our apartment complex. And I lived off of Santana's Mexican food across the street. Like it, it was super weird, especially also your dad too was a big barbecue roaster. And like, it, it was just a different environment. And your dad and our uncles gave my dad crap for many years when he went vegan. And when he decided to make his, like raise us vegetarian and, um, not eat meat and like all the family barbecues and get togethers. It's like, it was just weird. And when you told me, I was like, what? No way. Like I still like, it's still weird to believe it, but you know, you've taken it to another level for sure. And yeah, it's, it's crazy, but it's, it's, it's cool to see that change in people and you know, that people can, you know, change consciously and make decisions based on their own beliefs instead of what they're told to believe growing up. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. Like, even just going over to your house, like I was such a not picky eater. So I wasn't like, 
your food's gross. Your food's No, weird. you ate everything. I ate anything. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't even care what, I think, I, I think there's peanut butter in this. I don't think there's supposed to be peanut butter in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Like, and I just ate whatever. Like, it didn't no, matter. You, you were that, like that uh, fourth, fourth or fifth kid in the family where you walk up and you're like, can I have some? And my dad's all, what? You want some of this? And then you'd be like, go tell your dad you just ate some tofu. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him you liked it, too. <laughs> I don't even know if I did. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd say. But yeah, because and it, it was just so funny too because like I just remember thinking like it tasted fine like and there was no there was no big issue. But I never thought like I want to do that. Yeah. You know, I never was like I want to do that too or anything like that. I didn't even think of it as a lifestyle. Like just oh, just a choice. Like you're not eating that, whatever. Yeah. You know, like I just I didn't look at I looked at food as just all food is food. Food is food. You know, food is and until I learned that some things aren't food. And then I realized, well, that's not food anymore. <laughs> All right, so 